video we are going to learn how to cut this pattern it is called a cow kaftan dress so i want you to sit back and see how to cut this you can see how beautiful it is hello everyone welcome back to my channel hope you are all doing good in today's video i'll be showing you how to cut a cow kaftan short dress if you are new to my channel you are highly welcome don't forget to click on the subscribe button and also turn on your notification bell for you to be notified whenever i upload a new video so that you won't miss out and for those that have already subscribed to my channel i really appreciate you for your support thank you so much god bless you If you want to fold your fabric, you have to fold your fabric into four places. But this paper is folded into two places because we'll be using it as an illustration purposes. So if you want to cut your stand dress, you have to determine the length of your fabric. So the length of the paper we are using is 20. Then you have to determine your neck width and neck depth. So we'll be having three inches of neck width then four inches of neck depth so we will be connecting it together so you have to connect it together if you want the neck to be round or v-neck so you can determine it so this is the neck now then here the length is 13 and a half inches so i'm not going to cut anything so I'm using everything. I will measure my one inches for the slope. So I'm going to connect it to the three inches of the neck width. So I'm going to connect the line together. You connect the three inches to the one inches of the shoulder slope. Then I will have to measure my sleeve area where my arm is going to come out from and we mark four and a half inches so that's where my arm will come out from so this will stand for my sleeve we will be cutting everything together including the sleeve this will be where my arm will come out from oh sorry i wouldn't know if you can see what i'm marking here so let me try this shock then i will mark my hip you are going to mark your hip starting from your shoulder to your hip area so we'll be using the hip of 12 inches here then you will have to draw a line on your hip area after that you have to find out your circumference you measure your hip so the hip i will be working with is 26 so you are going to divide 26 by 4 so that will give you 6.5 so your 6.5 will be here for the hip circumference. So for you to walk freely, you have to add two more inches to it. So that will give you 8.5 inches. So you have to mark it here. You have to make a straight line. This is it here. Don't forget the hammer area here that I've already marked. That will be for our sleeve. I will come in by one and a half inches here so that you'll be able to connect it down to the hip circumference the line will be here now you can bring it up by four inches so that the color of the dress will be visible very well it will be bogus then you have to connect it from where you've come up by four inches then to the ham all area bring it down this way there's a point you can move it down here a little bit to curve it a little bit here curve it a little bit i'm so sorry my shock is not clear one is up is a bit okay i think you can see it here now
think it's a bit visible now after connecting it together and you can cut it out let me explain to you again you have to determine the length of your fabric the fabric you are going to use but before then you have to fold your fabric into four but because we are using this this is the way you are going to fold it if you are folding it into four this way then you fold it this way again so that will be in four then you can do it this way along this way but because we are using pattern for it so that's why is only in two places so you will determine the length of your fabric so like i said the paper i'm using is 20 inches then you have to determine your neck width and neck depth so i gave my 3.3 inches by 4 inches you can decide to give yours 3.5 inches by 5 inches and if you want to give it a v-neck you can decide also and if you want to give it a round neck you can decide also then after that you come down here at the edge the length of the fabric here is 13 13 13 and a half inches so i decide to use everything so i come down by one inches at the edge of the fabric here so i mark my one inches mark my one inch then i connect it to my neck width of three inches which is there then i connect it together then you now measure your hip line from your shoulder to your hip you know the hip line is should be normally should be around 25 to 26 it it totally depends on you what you want to give but because we're using this as an example so i decided to use two inch 12 i decided to use 12 inches here for my hip so after marking your hip area then you have to make a line you mark it straight like this so you use your ruler to mark it like this this way then after that you are still going to place your tape measurement at your hip area then you are you are going to look for your circumference you are going to look for the circumference of your hip area of your hip so if your hip is 40 you have to divide it by four so it will give you 10 inches then you had two inches to hit so that will be 12 well because we are using this as an example i used the hip of 26 inches then i divide it by four which gives me 6.5 then i had two inches to it so that gives me 8.5 inches all together this is it here 8.5 inches all together including the allowance after that i draw a straight line down here i mark my round arm hole here where my hand will come out from my round arm hole is eight so then i divide it by two which is four then after after that then i had half an inch to hit the seam then i now connect it from here i come in here by one and a half inches here by one and a half inches so that I can make my line so that I can easily connect it to the hip area here. Then I come up here by four inches so that I will have a bogus cow. Then I connect it together to the ham area here, to the round armhole here. So the next thing for us right now is to cut it out. So you have to cut it out. You can cut it from anywhere you like so i will start cutting from from down here now i'm cutting all you have to do is just to follow the line already marked here then you come up here to the one and a half inches that I have marked. Then I will cut it out from here. So that stops there. Then I will come up to my neck area. Then I will cut it out. Then I will come down to the shoulder slope area. 
and our cottons as well. Now, this is your cow kaftan dress. This is your cow kaftan dress, the short cow kaftan dress. So you can see it now. This is it. You can see how beautiful it is. You can see how bogus it is. You can see it's very big. The reason why it's so big is because of the it's because I come up by four inches here. That's why it's so big. You know, I, if you don't want to come up by four inches, you can as well connect it from your hip circumference. From where your hip circumference stops, then you can connect it up here. If you connect it up here, it won't be as bogus as coming up by four. You can see the difference. Now, if I connect it, as only I connect it from here now to here, it won't be bogus as coming up by four inches so you can see how bogus it is that is it Azumi is in four places all you have to do is just to place the second part of it on it and take it to the machine and sew it this way just sew it then you sew it from here down here sew it again from here down here then you can just tidy the neck line with bias then the sleeve as well, you can tidy it with buyers as well. So it's very lovely and very easy to make. You can make it within five minutes. It's very, very simple. Thank you so much for watching. If you are new to my channel, you are highly welcome. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and turn on your notification bell for you to be notified when there's a new video so that you won't miss out. And for those that have already subscribed, I really appreciate you. Thank you so much for your support. God bless you. Till I see you in my next video. Bye.